Hello, this video is going to talk about assignment four for Computer Science 340, which is to write a spell check program. Now there's lots of different ways of writing a spell check program and more uh, sophisticated ones will do things like not only tell you that a word is spelled wrong, but also give you suggestions on correct spellings. We're not going to do that in this assignment, we'll keep it simple. We'll just basically have a data structure that stores all of the words that we recognize. Then each time we see a new word, we look up and see if it's in our data structure. If it is, we'll say the word is spelled correctly because we recognize it. But if it's not found, then we'll say that word is spelled incorrectly. For this, the data structure we'll use is a binary search tree, which is a pretty good choice for this because it's very efficient for both inserting all of the words to begin with and also for doing the lookups. Each time you look up, it only takes log n time to find the uh, whether the word is there or not. So that's what you'll be doing for this. You'll be making a binary search tree of words, putting a whole bunch of words into them, basically a dictionary file of every word in English or you know at least close to, and then reading input from the user and reporting which words are spelled right and which words are spelled wrong based on that. For this, you're also going to write a method to return the height of a binary tree. Remember, the height of a tree is the distance from the root node to the furthest away leaf node. So you'll be doing that as well, which will give us a good sense of how efficient or inefficient this is going to be because the height is going to determine the longest amount of time it takes to search like we've talked about. So let's go ahead and take a look at this and talk about it a little bit more. All right, so let's just talk through a couple more of the details here. So your program is going to take a command line parameter, which will be the name of the dictionary file. This dictionary file contains all of the words that your program is going to assume are correct. Here's a sample dictionary file that has almost 100,000 lines in it. Each line is a different word, and you can see there's a ton of different words in here of all different varieties. So you can use that when testing your file. What you should do is open the file that the user passes in, read the words out one by one, and insert them into your binary search tree. Then what you'll do is you'll transition from reading from the file to reading from the user input from the keyboard and read all of the words that the user types in and checks whether they're in the file or not. If they are, you don't say anything. And if they aren't, then you report that that word is spelled incorrectly. So here's a sample run. If we say, this is a test, nothing happens. If we spell Mississippi incorrectly, it tells us that. If we spell it correctly, nothing happens. And if we give it a sentence like this, it should find the word that is spelled wrong and report that. Just like the last program, when you type end, that should be the signal that the program should stop looping. One last thing you have to do for this is write a method to figure out the height of the binary search tree. So how well this works is going to be sort of governed by the height of the tree because that determines how long it's going to take at most to search, like we talked about. And so you should find the height of the tree. If you load the words from this file in order into your tree, then the height should be 37. That's why these are all jumbled up and mixed around and not in alphabetical order, because if they were in alphabetical order and you just did them one by one into the tree, they would end up as a degenerate tree. And so these are just randomly shuffled, which gives you a height of 37. So you'll have to write code to reproduce that to figure out what the height of the tree is. So the details section here, like usual, contains some tips to kind of walk you through writing this program. I don't think it'll be too difficult, especially after the last program, which is actually kind of sort of similar in spirit in both your opening up a text file and loading all the data from it and then reading stuff from the user and interacting with it. One thing I'll point out is that to be considered spelled correctly, the words should exactly match the case in the file. So if they type in words that are mixed case, it'll say that they are spelled incorrectly and you shouldn't worry about that. That's perfectly fine. So like usual, um, try to write good code. That's what the general requirements basically are. And also like usual, submit your code for this program on Canvas when you're done. And let me know if you have any questions or are stuck on anything as you're working through this. Thank you.